Hi, so I'll be changing the oxygen sensor on Subaru Outback 2004 six cylinder. So I had the um, check engine light come up and um, it was a code P0051, which means that it's the oxygen sensor on the driver side. So when you sit in the car, it's on the left side of the car, a driver side. So I bought the oxygen sensor, it's original equipment, oxygen sensor, original equipment manufacturer, Denso, this is the code, the part number 2349010. Also very important, you need the oxygen sensor remover tool. If you use the regular wrench, you may you may round up the oxygen sensor and then it makes it very difficult to remove it. Uh, it will be stuck and essentially this tool was like I think 15 bucks and it was very worth it. You have on one side you have like this uh, it's this, this kind of wrench that, that goes uh, touches all the walls and on this side you have this kind. So first you use this side. Uh, let me put this oxygen sensor. This is the old one. And so it goes nicely. You see. And here you go. We have it now. All right. So um, you will not really have to remove anything from the car of the battery. Because you see you will have to you will have to detach this cable here and feed it through there's like an like eyelid down there so you have to you just press it and remove it but it's easier if you remove a battery and it, that to remove battery it's only you know a couple minutes and anyway since you work with the electrical part uh, I think you should uh, you should disconnect the battery anyway. Um, so uh, to remove the battery, you remove this screw, you remove this. Of course, you remove the terminals. This screw, this screw, boom, pick it up, and the battery is removed. And now you have easy access to the cable and to this connector. And connector. It all looks like this. This is the old one. You just squeeze it and pull it. And when you put it back, you see you can only put it on one side because there's one here to here, so you won't make any mistake. Now, so we see it how it's from the top. Now, actually, the first so the first step to take it is to remove the battery terminal so that there is no electricity going in. Then, uh, next thing is you have to crawl in under the car and see the oxygen sensor and locate the oxygen sensor and use the tool and to remove it. So I'll I will crawl in with, with underneath and, uh, and you will be able to see the oxygen sensor, okay? Okay. So, oxygen sensor is right here. You don't have to remove any covers or anything. Oxygen sensor, you can see it. It's easily accessible right here. So all you do is you take that wrench, put it on this, the side that I mentioned, you feed it through the cables. I'm not going to put it because I already removed it. You feed it from the cables, you put it nicely so that it's all the way, and then you push it this way. So you, once it sits nicely, you can you can move back a little bit, and then you push it away from you. Oops, so you push it, you push it this way, you see, away from you. And then when it moves, you can when you break it, you can turn it around and just unscrew it. And then 
using your hand, using your hand, you just remove it. Then you get out of from underneath the cup and you do the things from the from the top. Okay, now, as I said, you remove the battery, you remove this cable, old cable, and, um, and you can just pull out the oxygen sensor. Once you have the oxygen sensor out, in Denso, you will get that anti-seize, uh, anti-seize, and you put it on the thread of the sensor. You put it only here, around on all these threads, so that you can remove it easily later on. So you just cut it and squeeze it. You can put as much as you want, but don't put anything on this part, because it's only going on this thread. And you put, you can put a lot because if you, once you will be putting in there, then um, it will just be squeezed out. So you put a lot of it, you climb underneath the car and you put it first with your hand only and then, you know, put it, do it with your hand only, with your fingers only as much as you can. Put uh, put the wrench on, also this way on this side, so you don't damage the uh, the sensor, and just pull it tight, lightly until it stops. Don't put too much pressure because it's in the exhaust, so it will be you know after the exhaust gets hot, essentially it will be holding very well. Anyway, you do it on the cold car. So you should wait until your car cools down. It's best to do, you know, you should wait like at least four or five hours, but it's best to wait over overnight um, and just replace it. Then for me, it took me like 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes to do it. All right, thank you for watching.